It's the scorpion titus, one of the most dangerous in Guyana, depending on its size and the poisoning it causes you, potentially lethal on children or people in weakness. Very common on trees. That's why you shouldn't put your hands on trees without gloves. How do you treat poisoning with that, guys? How do you treat? In the middle of the jungle to heal, nothing beats the D system. It's for the bite. No negative. That's good for disinfection. But the problem is the toxicity of the venom. The advantage with that, like a wasp or a hornet, the injection is not very deep. For smokers, for once it shall be helpful, you quickly put a cigarette closer to the area of the sting. The venom is thermolabile, so the toxin is destroyed in heat. You heat up until you have a good sensation of heat without burning yourself. The effects of the venom will be greatly lessened through the heat at the area of the sting. That goes for scorpion, centipede, wasp. You are stung by this, a lighter, a heat source. You apply for a while, just what's bearable. You will see the effect of edema, and the effect of pain will disappear compared to if you don't treat it that way. Thermolabil is the term. It's the first time I am seeing a real scorpion. I see them in movies. It's small but deadly. Yeah, in a bottle it's not scary, but I can't see myself holding it without the bottle. To introduce soldiers to the operation of the chainsaw, Janest is the man for the job. He has lived in Guyana for 30 years now. For medical evacuation, we must cut the forest. To make a base camp, you have to cut down the forest for safety because you can't stay under the trees with a minimum risk of accident. There are lots of windfall. The cause of death in Guyana is the fall of trees and branches. You need to know this tool. It is an essential tool for clearing rivers. For example, in a canoe, the waterways are unnavigable obstructed with wood. You have to clear the river, what we're going to do in an application after this training. The chainsaw is the essential tool to life in the forest. Janist is in charge. He's a former soldier. He is now a professional lumberjack. It's cut too high. Pick it up again. Take it off. It's you who cuts. Take it off. After his long military career, he knows from a strategic point of view, knowing how to clear a space in the middle of the forest is of paramount importance. For we train them to use a chainsaw safely so that they can cut trees and not endanger their lives with these particular techniques. If they had acquired experience in the metropolis, they are not same at the tropical level. We are forced to give them specific training. They're ab initio, who sometimes haven't seen a chainsaw in their lives just at the start of the week. The challenge is to try in a week to make them understand what chopping is and that they can practice it safely. We're going to look over there. We won't cut that. That is done. We will do cuts on the ground. In the Amazon, apprentice lumberjacks will quickly discover it. Working with wood is not without risk. You are never safe from a bad encounter. 